Erica, how's it going? Erica, what are you up to today? Mike, it sure is. We have some rowing and wall walks on the agenda today. It's active recovery day for most people, but well, those of us that follow Mayhem Athlete. The orthodontist. <laughs> Yay, Erica. Erica, I think you'll like this one. Erica, how are you feeling from this week? So typically we start with Mayhem Athlete uh 30 but we are going rogue today so check out mayhemathlete.com if you guys need awesome programming they have all sorts of tracks what kind of fitness do you do mike um all right erica this week that workout i mean that took it out of me that one day and sorry about yesterday i i don't know what's going on my eyes something happened that like they just started burning it was the day before yesterday like it kind of started early in the day. And then by the evening, I could not even, I could hardly open my eyes and they're still really sensitive to light. So sorry, I'm squinting at you guys. What's better, F45 or CrossFit? I think it depends on your goals and where you're at for fitness. I'm not super familiar with how F45 programs their workouts. I've heard that they have really awesome workouts, but I'm not sure the over arching story of the programming like do they make sure that you do some endurance work do they make sure you get your high intensity work and do they program zone two days because if you're looking at an overall bird's eye view of programming there are certain areas that i would say would be you know non-negotiable to hit if you're trying to be fit for a long time and if you're trying to compete or something like that that would be a totally different ball game but i've heard f45 um a lot of people really like it i would just make sure that you're getting some sort of strength work in each week, some sort of intensity and some sort of zone two, meaning longer, lower intensity if you had to hit all of those pillars. Chill Cat. Chill Cat, how's the work going on the runner? And of course, I totally forgot to look at the, uh, the behind the scenes, Aria. Aria, Willie, how are you guys feeling this week? How's it going? Yeah, I just did a, I got my bike trainer out and did a bike workout and I am pouring sweat, pouring. Like I cannot sweat, stop sweating previously. Aria, I'm sore. Aria, what, uh, what workouts are you particularly sore from this week? Well, like, Erica, what made you guys particularly sore? This one should be fun. You guys have really, I mean, we hit it hard. I mean, you guys had upper body earlier in the week and then we had that basically all leg day. Um, I know you guys had more of like a quality day yesterday. So I'm trying to get us just kind of moving today uh, because again, Mayhem Athlete today is typically active recovery. And I know we have a fun morning planned for Diana's birthday. So um, are you guys planning on showing up? Oh, nice, Willie. Heck yeah, I'm gonna have to do that one. Uh, Erica, what workouts do you think made you particularly so? Little Bear, come here, buddy. I'm gonna grab my water real quick, gang. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I know the imam has me really sore. And then one of my, uh, I'm visiting one of my best friends from just growing up is in town. And we went for a walk yesterday. And like, this is like one of my best friends in my whole life. And we haven't seen each other in, I don't know, probably seven years. And we walked eight miles. <laughs> it was like a faster rock. Hi, Ross and Siesta Key. I'm in Cocoa Beach right now. Yes, it's beautiful, but you know it's so hot, right? Like today is Florida is like melt zone. Oh right. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, little bear, come here, bud. Um, Aria, it's well. What time zone are you? You're central, right? It's gonna be six a.m. Eastern time. Will you ready? All of your. You, I feel like uh, you know Willie brought this to life <laughs> for Diana's birthday. So I'm going to Scott. What's happening in Ohio? How's the weather there today? Probably cooler than Florida. Um, 
Oh my gosh, Aria, and my watch, you know, like it's, it shouldn't be about metrics, but my watch died halfway through, Aria, and I was crushed. I wanted to know how many steps I had. Mm. Heck yeah, Aria, did you wear the vest? I probably didn't need to in this heat, but. So you guys, raise your hand if you're doing the 6 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Central time with workout with us tomorrow. So guys, what I'm going to need from you guys is if you want to do the community live. I know Diana wanted people to jump on the live too. Uh, I'm just going to need your phone number. So a lot of them I have. I'll find a way to make sure we get all of those who want. And down 260 pounds. Congratulations. Holy mackerel. That's so amazing. Truly. That's super inspiring. Heck yeah. Let's go. That's awesome. I mean, thanks for sharing your journey. I mean, a lot of people are encouraged by it's so hard the beginning of weight loss journeys because it takes it takes a couple of weeks to really see your body transition. So just showing up those first couple of weeks, one foot in front of the other is so challenging. And to stay on point. That's amazing. And I love that you guys are cheering each other on. That's so cool. Heck yeah. Let's go, Andy. And Brenda, that's awesome with the encouragement. Count Chuka in. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys know I'm going to have like bugles set up. I mean, when was the last time you said bugles? <laughs> uh, right, Andy? And you just, Andy, what did you, what got you through the beginning of your weight loss journey? What pushed you through that part? Uh, I'm going to have bugles set up. So um, it's also going to be super on time because, you know, I know that 6 a.m. slot, like Willie says, is for work. So we're typically... I'm going to make sure I get everyone's phone numbers and everything set up tonight and all set up around 545 so we'll get rolling at 6. <laughs> you got it, Erica. <laughs> Free intention. I get it. Uh, I will not miss, I promise. This is 100% mental. But it's, it's reassuring when you hear other people have gone through the journey, right, Andy? Like extreme weight loss, extreme anything you know, changing your habits in any way, in a big way, is so challenging. And it's just that little bit of momentum. You just have to hang on for a little bit of momentum and then it becomes so much easier. I mean, you should just, like I said, bugles, Erica. Someone needs like a full orchestra outside my window, but it's okay. I'm gonna have 20 alarms set. We're gonna be, I'm on my whoop set, uh, but I'm gonna set it early so we get started on time. And Diana, let me know. Aria, that's 5 a.m. your time, right? 6 a.m. our time. It's 6 a.m. Eastern time, right, Diana, for tomorrow? Also, uh, Diana, what do you like to do typically for your warm-up before the hang? Christopher, what is happening? How are we doing? Team, we have a fun uh, active recovery workout, sort of, <laughs> on the agenda today. Okay, Aria, girl. Oof. Everyone says they're sore this week. Diana, how are you feeling from the week? Okay, I'm going to start talking about our warm-up gang. We're actually gonna, going to do, I don't know where um, Amanda is today, cooking crazy. We're going to do a low-core warm-up to start. Uh, like I said, I have some rowing and some wall walks planned. <laughs> I feel like burpees are sub for everything, and I've said that 100 times this week. But if you want to do the body weight version, you can always do... Uh, burpees and plank walk, but we are going to be utilizing our core in, in the sneaky way today. So we're going to do the low core warm up for our prehab today. We, for our warm ups, we always do prehab. We always do something that's going to contribute to our long term fitness even better. And I know we've been doing a lot of the same thing. Like I keep mentioning, I'm going to start working on um, more of like a, a pyramid for us. So we can add in some new stuff here and there. So you guys don't get bored walking backwards the same way every time. Oh, nice, Erica. It's it's 16 minutes. It's similar to, it's not the uh, the What's Rich Doing Row Wall Walk workout we did, Erica. That was, like, there are not words for, on paper, how easy that workout looked. And, like, you know, 30 minutes in, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you ever do that where on paper you're like, oh, this just looks so fantastic. And then you start and you're like, what has happened here? Kind of like our EMOM this week. Hmm. 
Good luck, Erica. Good luck with your chief. Okay, 12 plank pike, Dana. I'm gonna. <laughs> you did wait, that's what you do for your warm-up or no? <laughs> I like ostrich walk walk. <laughs> um well I just wanted to make sure, Diana, that it's something that's cohesive to how you warm up for your hang. Because you're the one that's built up this far. So I want it to be something that like is literally I don't want to change your routine. I want it to be like very similar to what you do for that max. Okay, I can do that. I can totally come up with a warm up for you. Everyone's gonna want to be uh <laughs> everyone's gonna be asleep, so I'll probably uh We'll start with like a nice little, uh, I'll get us into like a five, five to 10 minute yoga flow for our warm up for your hang tomorrow, just to get the body wa warmed up and moving and uh, get us breathing. And then we'll get into that. And then we'll finish up with the uh, beach body workout, Diana, for those that can stay and hang on and finish it up. I love a little yoga flow warm up. I do a lot of 5 a.m. yoga when I'm in Tennessee. And I mean, this is the best way to start the day. It's hot yoga, so it forces you to, like, get bendy quick. <laughs> All right, team, uh, let's talk about this low core warm-up. So our low core warm-up today is going to be 10 half kneeling press or 5 inch worms. Then we're going to go 10 single leg RDL or body weight RDL. And then we are going to do 10 dead bugs. Pretty simple today. Um... I'm basically just easing off of you on this active recovery day. I know some of you did the M30 flow today, and I know we are getting up bright and early for Diana's birthday workout tomorrow. So like I said, we're going to just be straight to the point today. We're going to get into a 16-minute AMRAP. It's pretty much just put your head down and move. And then uh, everyone can tuck themselves in early because we are going live at 6 a.m. Eastern time for Diana's attempting three-minute bar hang. She's been working on it for eight months now, Diana. No, seven months. We're in July. Almost seven months now. She's our hanging ninja. So we're all going to do our max attempts on that. And then we're going to have a fun, we have a fun body weight workout after that. And we are going to warm up with a little bit of yoga. So, right. There, it's no pressure tomorrow. Tomorrow is about the fact that we've been doing this together now for several years. Some, some are newer than others. Um, but... Tomorrow's a community challenge. I love that, um, you know, for Diana's birthday workout, she wanted to bring us all together to uh, do something. So, Amanda, how's it going? Amanda, I've got this low core warm up for you today, girl. Amanda, are you joining us at 6 a.m. tomorrow? And like I said, anyone that wants to join, I'm going to have you guys send me your numbers so I can send you the community link if you want to jump in, if you, if you don't like cameras or you don't want to be live, or you're like, heck no, it's 6 in the morning. I'm not going live when my hair sticking out of my head that's fine too <laughs> no pressure we're happy that you'll be here regardless so <laughs> amanda says uh what is an ostrich walk don't they just stick their heads in the ground <laughs> oh uh willie says a strong free word that's not it. oh well my coffee game will be strong it'll be like early morning coffee George, you're a little dude. So George, you know I'm at 6 a.m. Eastern time <laughs> tomorrow. I, Diane, I'm not quite familiar with the ostrich walk either. Do tell. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what time that is in Spain, George, but we're going to do a max hang attempt, and then we have a bodyweight workout, and I'm going to send you guys links, and we're going to go live together. If you guys want to jump on the live, you're invited. It's a party for Diana's birthday. And again, guys, sorry if I'm squinting at you today. I'm still, I don't know what's going on with my crazy eye thing, but it's getting better. So that's all that matters. <laughs> at this point, it's just sensitive to light. All right, team. So again, we are going to start with this low power warm up, and then we have a 16 minute AMRAP that is including wall walks and calorie row, or you can ski or use any machine, or you can do burpees and plank walk. It's like the never ending. <laughs> Body weight option is burpees. So if you've been following my body weight workouts this week, you've probably turned into a burpee. You probably just, you no longer walk, you just burpee everywhere you go. 
So are you going to join us, Sir George? It's going to be a blast. <laughs> I know, Willie, I should, I need to, I'm, well, the reason I didn't is because I knew we had wall walks and I don't have glasses that don't fall off my face. Otherwise I would, I probably should just grab them. Okay, so guys, this low core warm up, I'm gonna grab this dumbbell. Not really. I don't think that camera can see. Grab, can it see? Hold on. It's like you don't when you're afraid to touch it. You know, that's the technology. What happens when you touch the technology? <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, George, it's been a real, George, I have not stopped profusely sweating. I did a little bike. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, George, you can make it. A little heat wave in España never held anyone back. That's not true. It probably held a lot of people back, but not you because you're tough. All right. <laughs> so let's start with the 10 half kneeling press on the right, 10 on the left, or you can start with five inchworms if you're not using the dumbbell today. Or if you're doing a dumbbell variation with us today, you're going to start with that half kneeling press. We're going to have our left leg forward at 90 degrees. We're going to have that dumbbell in the right hand. And when I tell you to keep that low core tight, that just means when you're pressing that arm up to the sky, I don't want to see you guys arching that back. I want to see you guys think about sucking that core in nice and tight, keeping your spine nice and straight. That's tilting that pelvis under just a little bit, so that's what makes that neutral. So if you're laying on your back, you'd be getting a little bit of So a lot of people, as they're pressing, they are arching. I want you guys to think about getting that spine and that back nice and straight instead of arching. If you start arching, if you start losing your spinal integrity, lower the weight of that dumbbell. Steven, how's it going? Steven, you taking class tonight? Doing fitness? Fit yes, Diana, then siesta. That's <laughs> oh my gosh, George, that is so hot. All right, so we're going to start with Again, you're gonna have five inch or ten half kneeling press on the right, ten on the left. Uh, good, good. Start the day with siesta. Yes, <laughs> doing great, Stephen. It's a hot one in Florida today. Like George said in Spain, it's a. Uh, he said it's kind of like desert weather there today. It's it's pretty hot here today. It's melting weather here today. How about where you are? Oh, it's hot. So it's hot everywhere today, apparently. Oh, George, it's okay. You got to give yourself some grace in, in the fasting sometimes. All right, guys, after the half kneeling press or the inchworms, we're moving to our 10 single leg RDL. Um, <laughs> and you can go body weight on those guys or with your dumbbell. George, the other thing about fasting is 
the reason I say give yourself grace with it at certain points is you don't want it to be causing unnecessary stress on your body because if the fasting itself is causing more stress, then it's negating the point of the benefits you're trying to reap from fasting, if that makes sense. And if you mess up one day, I used to think when I was really strict on fasting that if I messed up a day, I was like ruining everything I've worked for. And that's not true. You can get right back on track with it the following day. So no stress. Don't let it be stressful. You want the good benefits from it, not the stressful benefits. <laughs> Diane, and I love naps. Big nap fan. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stephen, you work outside with a shovel? Oh my lanta. So you, what's your secret to hydration? How do you stay hydrated in the summer? I love to hear people's different variations. All right, team. So finishing up three sets of low core warm up. Again, 10 half kneeling press on the right, 10 on the left. And then we're going to go 10 single leg RDL. So 10 on the right, 10 on the left, unless you're going straight body weight. So you want to do straight body weight? I'll just speak. Hip this is hard. And I always have a slight bend in the standing leg. So I just want to make sure to keep that pelvis nice and flat here. We're not doing the airplane. Always a good reach for the ground with both hands. And if you're doing the dumbbell version today, guys, whatever hand you have that dumbbell in, that leg will be bent. Is your dead bugs. <laughs> Erica, oh my gosh, Erica, that was the fastest orthodontist appointment ever. A hundred and seven or a holy mackerel. That's great, George. Are you feeling better? Is it helping you feel good? All right, guys, again, so low core warm up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you have to do what you have to do to survive, right, Stephen? I'm a big fan of uh, raw coconut water, though. That's really great for hydration. This crew's heard me say that a lot. So, again, three times through, 10 half kneeling press on the right, 10 on the left, four or five inch worms. Then we'll go on 10 single leg RDL on the right, 10 on the left, or you can go 20 body weight. And last but not least, our dead bugs. So, like I said, guys, about that dumbbell and pressing the sky without arching that back, that's going to be the same with the dead bugs. When you're laying flat against the ground, you don't want to see any daylight underneath. You want to think about pressing that back against the ground, which is causing you to keep that core nice and active. And then we're going to be alternating arms and legs on those dead bugs. It's going to be great for those hip flexors, as well as that low core. Sometimes you don't even realize you're working that low core. Kind of like what's going to be happening in those uh, wall walks and rowing or burpee and plank walk. Oh, that's smart. George did his training this morning because he knew it was basically a heat wave. Oh, okay. Oh, Erica, you can just go back and get a couple trays. I need a um, new retainer for it, you know? My retainer is holding strong, but it's, uh, I could always use an extra one, you know? It is basically your reverse tabletop position today.
you did to give us credit. All right, team. Now we're going to talk about our workout. So you're going to have three times through. Don't skip your prehab, team. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Yeah. But is it reasonable, Erica? Like just for a couple trays? Oh, electrolytes, yes. I like the element electrolytes a lot. They've been really great. Movie theater part, popcorn, where did that come from? Oh, it does, oh my gosh, man, it does look so good. I know, it's like such a special little treat, right, Aria? Oh, little bear says hi. She's been a little slow moving lately. But uh, she's been chasing lizards, so she seems quite happy. Ah, yes, Willie done with his prehab, excellent, plus five minutes backward walk. You guys should walk backward. <laughs> That's fair, Steve, and everyone has their preferences. Really think, whoop, there it is. Now we can get started. Wow, that's not, I mean, hopefully if, if it stays at that, Diana, that's that's not bad. Assuming that's where it stays, right? <laughs> All right, get you guys set back up here. And potty time, team. Okay, guys, so again, in anticipation of our fun community event tomorrow. We are just going to kind of move through things today. So I'm giving you guys an AMRAP. So if you need to push hard today, you can push hard. But if you just need to move active recovery today, you can just move. Um, I would say do plank walks, Willie, but if your uh, shoulders are already uh, wrecked from the week. Um, are you going to row, Willie? This is true. I'd say do core, but you did core yesterday. It's kind of been a full body week there, Willie. Um, maybe just a, uh, we could have you do like a different version of a plank willy. Like you could do plank taps, but I definitely, I don't want you to do anything that bothers your shoulders, you know? Wall walks might be a little bit too aggressive. You could always, um, like I said, do shoulder taps. Um, Pam has us walk our hands up to a plate, which is kind of cool. Like if you're on the ground, your hands on the plate, you move the hand down and back to the side, which, you know, is another way of doing it as well. I would say shoulder taps would be the, plank shoulder taps would be the way to go, Willie. And then even if you have to do them on your knees, that would be row and plank shoulder taps to you would, would be plenty because you guys have really hit it hard this week. It is an active recovery day tomorrow. We're going to have a really fun fun. It's going to be leg burpee predominant tomorrow. Mike, how's it going? All right, guys, so this workout today, it's six-minute AMRAP. So, like I said, giving you guys the ability to go nice and easy if you need to on a recovery day. And if you just want to blow the doors off the place, you can totally do that, too. So, six-minute AMRAP, you're going to start with two wall walks, and then it's going to be followed by 16-calorie row, ski, or machine of choice. And after every round, you're going to add two more calories to the row or ski or whatever you choose. So, it'll go two wall walks, six. calories to wall walk 18 etc we'll see how you did that's what they're from she has such great um different uh how should i say like developmental techniques that are just so great for gymnastics really pam is just awesome all right guys so i'm gonna grab some water here and then we're going to
go through these movements. Also, if you don't have machines today, guys, turn this music up. My computer's acting a little funky. Uh, let's see here, Willie. Um, I would do nothing super crazy. Why? It's kind of in this. Let me see if there's a way that I can get some shade on this bad boy. Hold on, Chris. Send, send a pigeon one second. A pajarito. Trying to get this any better? Flamingo. All right, team. Hold on. Let's see if this helps at all. All right, guys. I'm going to refresh you. Give me one second. Paul, how's it going? All right, team, let me know if this is any better. I refreshed you. White. <laughs> All right, team, give me a thumbs up if this is actually working. One moment. Okay, it seems like it's a little bit better. Speaking of electrolytes, I had to grab some. All of mine are on the pool deck from the bike. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go 16-minute AMRAP here. We're just going to move through this. Again, two-wall walk. Um, Willie, I'm going to say, and then it's choice, guys. If you don't have a machine, 
And also, guys, you're going to add two calories every round. So you're starting with 16 calories. Second round is going to be 18, then 20, et cetera, et cetera. But the wall walk is always going to stay the same or the plank shoulder tap is going to stay the same. So if you're doing shoulder tap, it's just going to be in that plank position. If you have those feet nice and wide, correct your balance. <laughs> then you're just going to be tapping those shoulders. If you need to drop your knees, you can drop your knees. So those are your plank shoulder taps, or you can do a wall walk. Once you start moving your belly on the floor, press up on the burpee. Do the sit back for me. And if you don't have a machine, guys, you can always, always, always just sub 16 burpees, gang. <laughs> Although Diana's birthday workout, you have a lot of burpees. <laughs> it's down as one of your favorite movements, so. 16, Willie. We're going to keep it on the train. All right, team, any questions? We're... We're going to get right into it as... Sixteen, yes, really. All right, guys, are we ready to rock and roll? I'm trying to shut some of these other things. Maybe this will be helpful. Any questions, guys? Who's jumping in today? Willie, Willie's jumping in. Everyone's so sore and they're still doing it. You guys are champions. <laughs> oh, burpees, Erica. Oh, dear. And you're going to have them tomorrow because we have a, um, a body weight workout for Diana's beach body workout tomorrow. I guess I could bring a minimal workout, too. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a party. Erica, just get yourself mentally prepared for the fact that you'll have, you know, 100 burpees today and 100 tomorrow. I, you've done it before. I believe in you. I'm not concerned. You shouldn't be either. <laughs> uh, if you do burpees, though, Erica, <clears throat> um, start with. Uh, I could. I'll, I'll make a minimal equipment workout for Diana's birthday too, just so people have options. Um, Erica, just start with. Uh, 10 burpees. So if you're doing the body weight version, guys, it's going to be 16 plank shoulder taps. And the machine piece will be burpees, but you'll start with 10 burpees and add by two each round instead of 16. Make sense? Got it. Give me thumbs up and we will get started. Get our 16 minutes underway. It's really just put a head down and move through the workout here, guys. I'm just thankful to be here with you guys moving to active recovery day. Uh, getting our mind right for our uh, 6 a.m. party tomorrow. I don't know if you guys have ever been invited to a 6 a.m. party, but you are. Diana's birthday party. Six Making Willie's dreams come true of a 6 a.m. workout. <laughs> That's a good friend, Willie. Not going to lie. <clears throat> Diana, you know, on it. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Aria, no, I just drank half of uh, an electrolyte packet. All right, Willie's ready. All right, team, we are starting in 
We're going to start in 10 seconds. Here we go. In uh, five, three, two, one. 60 minutes starts now, team. Starting with wall walks. So you're going to go start 10 burpees if you're doing body weight first stress or 16 calories on the machine. Yang. Remember, it's as many rounds and reps as possible in 60 minutes. Don't forget to add two calories or two burpees per round.
September, at two burpees around the for two calories. I'm on to 20 gallons now. Great work, gang. Wall walk for 16 shoulder tap. Nice job, guys. Seven minutes in.
Are you there? Uh, oh. oh, you are still there. Okay, just uh, turn it off.
Five seconds. Oh, frozen, but... Ooh, my clock froze, so just hilarious. Great job, guys. You went a little bit over the time. Um... Amazing work, gang. Whew. Great job. We did it. I forgot the afternoon internet. You guys know that deal. Um, So, amazing work, team. You got the world, it seems like today. I don't know, grew it nice and smooth. Just wanted you to have to recovery. So this gives us the ability to move nice and smooth. just blow the doors off the place if you wanted to go all out today. But either way, it's also allowing us to get a little.